Hey, you bunch of nerds. Welcome to Young Composer Reacts to the Smile Wall of Eyes. I have an exam tomorrow morning. I'm supposed to be working. I haven't been for like three hours, but the Smile announced they're dropping a new album at the beginning of next year, and they just dropped this music video. So this is historic. Let's go. Okay, so first things first, the tone of the voice is really interesting here. Um, I love Tom, Tommy York's voice. I love it so much. When I was a kid and I listened to Creep, I thought that was, you know, the epitome of, of singing and that nothing could ever be better than this and that this was what any guy would want to achieve with their voice. And and then listening to OK Computer and things like that, I just I just thought, wow, it's such a a sort of quality to it where it's so recognizable. And studying Radiohead in, in school, I guess, or just the teacher even briefly mentioning them, he's like, yeah, Tom York sounds whiny, and I'm like, yeah, but it comes from a real place. Like that's just his throat, the way that he sings right like that's just the tone of my voice i can't change it right i can change it on purpose i can try to sound a little bit silly like that but the way i would actually speak normally it's like that and i can't fake that and he can't really fake the tone of his voice it's just kind of whiny and it is getting whinier as he ages and so that's kind of shocking to my ear at the beginning of the song I'm like oh what the fuck but um i like the way that it always like paints that anxious landscape in radiohead songs and, and tom york songs and the smile songs and adams for peace and everything it's 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 he can be singing anything he can be singing the most beautiful love song to your ear it's always like something's not quite right and i gotta love that i love the rhythm of this song it's not bossa nova but i i, I struggle to um have the right vocabulary to talk about such such rhythms but i just i just enjoy the way that kind of the the percussion goes together with the um, the classical guitar and the little bit of stuff in the in the bass register as well there it's it's weird i like the changes to the the minor as well Step
god the ambience is so well depicted by the by the music video that's exactly what i'm trying to talk about in the in the tone of the voice of tom is is just the the paranoia of the I use the term Radiohead loosely, but you understand I'm talking about the Radiohead verse. Like the paranoia in the Radiohead verse is just unmatched. With all these clapping hands just make me really uncomfortable. And I'm not catching the lyrics and all that stuff, but even just the title Wall of Eyes is like... The thought of every everybody watching you is, is, uh, is pretty terrifying. If, if you think too much about... Um, the way you're being perceived, you're not going to have a good time. This is so different from the the first smile stuff that came out what's crazy about the smile is they formed like three years ago or something and they did their gladensbury live stream two and a half years ago and i feel like for me those years completely flew by i mean i was i was home a lot of the time was injured in my hands uh, not really working <laughs> and i bro i it was yesterday man and yeah, it's just too weird to think about, but um, they started out with, with You Will Never Work in Television Again, which was a single that was fast, and it rocked, and Tom yelled, and it was just raw power and energy, man, and this is way different. This is super chill and laid back, and the evolution of the song, even in terms of structure, isn't very clear. Like, is there a chorus, a verse, a bridge anywhere? maybe like if you had to write it down yeah maybe you'd put the limitations around um parts of the song but it's it's more of a kind of free flowing thing and it is still kind of developing in this classic johnny greenwood way of like bringing more instrumentation and and those swells of uh things that could be you know fake synths or things like that but probably are a real orchestra behind there but i just i'm not super caught by the melody and stuff and i know i've made that mistake before actually with smile songs of of saying eh i don't i don't know if i'm gonna latch on to that and then you know listening to them again and and seeing them live and stuff as i've had the the great privilege to it really changes the context and you're like, oh, I get it now. And I actually, it's pretty crazy, but I actually still haven't listened to their debut album. I've been putting it off. That's crazy.
this is what I'm talking about. This is so disturbing and uneasy in all the possible ways. Just the, the tone, the meaning, and the visual. I guess it's been wall of ice by the smile. Uh, I quite, I quite kind of like this one. Honestly, I, I got a level with you guys. I haven't been making a lot of these and I don't know. I don't feel like I suck at it, but I feel like I want to get back to it in maybe a more serious fashion because this feels like I'm just kind of riffing and I want to do songs. All right. Albums are difficult for me to do because it takes like two hours because I'm talking for an hour and I'm listening for an hour. <laughs> I'm a pretty heavy talker. So if you want to suggest songs in the comments that I should do, uh, do suggest. And I'm not going to listen to your suggestions and I'm going to react to Paranoid Android every day. But please uh, leave me your suggestions. Little suggestions huh? <laughs> if the smile goes on tour in France, I'll see you there. And bye-bye.